welcome to my channel. The channel name is Coal Candy, but actually when I decided to choose the name Coal Candy, I didn't know that there was an actual candy called Coal Candy. But I think that the candy itself is actually quite suitable, because it matches the channel, it's a bit sweet, I think, I haven't tried it yet. And it is still black, just like me. So today we're going to make Coal Candy, and to my help I have here Mrs. Anna, who are responsible of granulated sugar, cocoa and eggs. And we also have some black food poisoning, I was going to say, <laughs> no, food coloring. Uh, some vanilla extract, extract uh, the confectioner's sugar, and white vinegar. It's not white, but we didn't have a white, so we're going to try with red. Red is always better. So now it's time to finally show you how it's done. Take one big egg and separate out the white of it. Then you whisk it up until it's soft and almost looks like a big white cloud. Kind of like this. Then add half a deciliter of cocoa powder, as well as two and a half deciliter of confectioner's sugar. Then mix it all together until it forms a nice mixture that hangs from the fork in a blob without falling off. As you can see, our mix was quite dry, so we needed to add a little bit more egg to actually make it form together. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of vinegar, and then you need to add the food coloring. The recipe said about one teaspoon, but we actually needed to add five to make it really, really black. You want it to be really black, because after this you would add more sugar to it, so it's important that it is pure black here. Now put one deciliter of water and six and a half deciliters of sugar in a pot. Warm it up and boil it at 125 degrees for about 10 minutes. You're supposed to stop when it looks like kind of wet sand. Okay, and this is where it all went wrong. And now I will actually emphasize that this is not a cooking channel. So I will actually show you what mistakes I did so you can avoid them. So let's, let's go and see the horrible mistakes that I did. The first mistake was to boil it for way too short. And also I added the black mix into the pot instead of doing the reverse, which is not good. Doing it this way meant that the coal candy wouldn't really curdle, so it ended up a bit too soft. It looks like we have snow in the pan. This was the second mistake. I saw that in the pot it looked totally like wet sand boiling, and I should have taken it off the heat. But I, I wanted to film it and stuff, so... It ended up like sand instead. So when you see the wet sand you will know totally exactly what I mean. Take it off the stove immediately. Luckily we didn't put all our eggs in one basket. We also made this delicious saffron bread and we had bought some glögg, Swedish mulled wine, which is an essential part of the Swedish Christmas celebration. I've actually made another video with instructions on how you can make your own glögg. The link is above now. We did it! We made coal candy. Although, I need to admit that we ended up with two different versions. This is slightly too lit, cooked too short, and this is cooked a little bit too long. But I think we'll try one part each and give our judgement. Bit crunchy. <laughs> it's so big. Too large piece. Mm. <laughs> but it tastes it really tastes good. good. Let's try one of these. I think right in between of these <laughs> would have been perfect. So if you want to make cold candy, make sure to be really, really careful and get like exactly the right amount of time. I was a bit like 
when we saw that these ones were actually finishing, I was like, I, I just need to take some video of this, I need to show this. But then we ended up... Boiling it for too long. Uh, so it's ruining. I'll try another time last, no, next Christmas. Um, and I think I will finish these anyway. Oh, and one more thing. If you actually go ahead and try the cold candy recipe and you succeed with doing it, please tell me in the comments or send me a picture at Instagram or, or something. Maybe you could even do a video response showing me how the perfect cold candies are done. If you feel like watching more videos about Christmas and Swedish Christmas, watch my video about making glögg, the delicious Swedish Christmas wine. Anyway, I hope to see you around soon. Bye!